five is going to get route to the shooting at uh, Vernon and Wall. I think that's uh, new. So, yeah, we've got a shooting outside of a liquor store with one uh, with one victim down in front of the liquor store. So, we were just there, by the way. That fire is literally. Thirty-five now. We we were a block away. Block away from where that just happened. Jesus. Yeah, shootings are up uh, a lot. Sorry. Um, shootings are like way up right now in uh, LA. Pretty much all the major cities uh, in the US. All, all the big cities. So it's kind of. Uh, it's kind of interesting because you have so many shooting calls yeah, coming out. You have to weave through them and pick and choose which ones are uh, which ones are newsworthy. And outside of a liquor store, kind of interesting. So. So we're gonna we're gonna go to that uh, either way. You can hear the sirens. And confirming, and I was on the west bound side. Uh, yes, correct. North. It's saying northbound, but that would be uh, where that location is. Would be westbound, correct? Copy. I'm uh, rolling past Little Rock right now. Uh, should be approaching within uh, two minutes. <laughs> Copy. Oh, hey, it's where. Isn't that where we had the fireworks on fire? Is that where it is? <laughs> Oh, there's a tow truck maybe getting repoed. Uh -oh. Hey! Uh, yeah? You got time for sticks? Always grab them. I didn't see that one. Thanks, brother. Oh no, no, you're good. I didn't see it when I walked up. I would have, I would have gone further. Hey, I see you on Netflix. Yes, you have. How's it going? It's hard to get a good. Uh, oh. We'll just go here. Ah. All right. 
So we got one male. Oh, cool. Sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> There's like 50 different lines going up right now. All right, right here. Cool right here, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, sounds good, thank you, brother. Okay, so we're good. I thought we were gonna get stuck in the crime scene there for a second, but we're, uh, we are good. Um, yeah, so this, uh, this is a very, um, obviously we're here early, so there's a lot of information that is unknown, um, but we do have a very large crime scene. They're taking it all the way down uh, Vernon, probably down to the next street. And then the crime scene here, uh, looks like it's going to be the intersection. So we're in a good spot, I think. We good here, boss? Hi. Cool, thank you. All right. So we are good here. And then they're still working on our, uh, they're still working on our victim right now. So let me get a couple shots and then I'll try to explain as much as, much as I can. Yeah, I think he's going straight to here. Cool. Perfect. Oh. Awesome, thank you. Sweet, thank you guys. So yeah, we've got one male uh, gunshot wound on the location. I couldn't really, couldn't really see. Um, we can see bullet casings in front of the liquor store on the ground right at the front door. So whether it happened inside and then the guy came outside or what the, what the circumstances around that are, we're not sure. But, um, but as of right now, As of right now, we have a victim with a gunshot wound that's being taken to a local area hospital, and uh, that's kind of all we have. Once, uh, once everything mellows out a little bit, I will talk to the uh, I will talk to the sergeant. It's interesting though too because we have this tow truck over there, and I, I don't know if that's part of the crime scene or. I did notice when we rolled up. Usually, when you see a tow truck with a car in the air and then somebody's been shot, it might be related to that because people get really upset uh, when you take their cars. So. Who knows if it's a repo thing or what, but uh, either way, we are in a good spot right here.
other way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times when, you gotta imagine when you're showing up at something like this, you're showing up along with the officers, right? So you're seeing, for the most part, obviously what can be seen, the same stuff. So when we see a tow truck that's got a car up on the back, we've got a shooting victim that's down right in front of a liquor store, did, did the tow truck operator pull in to get something to drink and got shot because that's somebody's car and they chased him down? You know what I mean? Like there's, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of questions that you start asking yourself and you end up asking the officers that are here as well. And you go, hey, like this is what I'm seeing. Is this, am I onto the right uh, path here? Um, but as far as the details, we don't usually get that until, you know, about 12 to 24 hours later. So it, it takes time for the detectives to do their research and figure out what information they can release, what is actually going on, um, and if it's something they can even release to begin with. So, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we see when we first show up um, has a lot to do with how the story unfolds. So when you hear a call initially, it's, it's not always what you think it is. Sometimes it is, but not always. And I've learned that more often than not, um, good communication and talking to uh, the guys that are here are gonna help you tell that story. So, I hope that makes sense. It does look like they're reviewing uh, security cam footage right now. That's what the uh, that's what the huddle is about. Yeah, you got it, guys. So, the tow truck is in the crime scene. There's crime scene tape around it. There's, um, I don't know if he was a witness or if he's involved somehow, but it's it's stuck in the crime scene, and the car's up on the back. Usually, um, they're not going to stick around. These guys, they they'll take off. So, kind of interesting. They're still reviewing the security camera footage, but um, I do want to talk with the sergeant and see if the tow truck is involved. Because if it is, then this goes from a fairly interesting shooting to an extremely interesting shooting. So, information is key. Ooh, information is key. Oh, there we go. Hey, put that up right here. Information is key. It's good. But yeah, this, that's where we're at. Uh, that's the update. Tell him to roll it back and find out where. There's possibly an officer involved shooting right now. Yeah, there has to be an OIF. Looks like it's at Flower and Forth. No confirmation yet. Copy. All right, let's go to. Uh, we're gonna leave here in a second. Go to the possible. Let's go to uh, Flower and Fourth. Possible OAS. So, I'll take it for what it's worth. Okay.
How's it going, man? Hey, was there a, uh, did you hear an OIS in Central by any chance? Right Just now? Like, yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay, they were, they're sending me over there and I didn't hear shit, so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they said flower and fourth. OIS? That's, that's what oh, my desk no. said, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, I'm out of here. So hey. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I heard it over the radio, and we hear everything in Central because they're yeah, you, you're linked. Divisions. You would have heard it. Okay. So, All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty. So he didn't hear it, but you never know. We'll go check it out. Plus, we have uh, we have enough to tell this story. Try not to get run over. <laughs> it, you got it, fellas. Be safe. Oh, there's a uh, P2 walking up. I'll ask him if uh, we'll uh, we'll ask him before we get out of here. Oh, another uh, another call popped up. Hey, boss. Quick question. Um, was the tow truck involved somehow? Yeah. Okay, because when we rolled up, I saw it on the on the lift, and I was like, if somebody followed him and shot him when he went to get a Gatorade, that would be a fucking crazy story. Yeah, it's just super <laughs> spur of the moment, like, type of deal. Got like, it. Something personal, I don't know. Got it, okay. Gang related, or? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool deal. You guys are Newton, right? Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. All right, brother, thank you. Okay, so let's go up to uh, Central, and then... That's what we, our desk heard that, but I didn't. Where at? They're saying fourth and flower, possibly. No, we would we would have heard it. That's what I was thinking. It would have been, it would have been simulcast. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't just see it. We have to go check it out, so. <laughs> yeah, take care. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what Keith's talking about with this OIS, but um, yeah, jump in, we'll go. We'll go check it out, go burn some gas. <laughs> So we got structure fire. I guess I guess we'll have to wait on snacks. <laughs> Every time we get food, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. Every time we're like, ah, oh, about to relax, everything's cool, we're good, and then Nope. Alright, 10's first in. Uh, I think they said eleventh and the 110, which is like right here. So we're gonna go down. Let me just confirm that location, but I think we're Yeah. Oh. Of course, as I hit refresh, it comes up. That's great. I like that. Anywhere. So I think we'll have to do Pico. Got audio? Yeah, yeah, it's on. Okay. Yeah, 11th and 110. Okay, cool. And we'll jump on and go to Pico right after right there. It's like. Oh! I hear the bells are ringing. Crackhead walking up the off ramp. I don't. I think it's just a fire alarm. Dr. is the brother and the sister is texting. The brother advising. There's people out of the back of the waving, so there might actually be. We'll go under the. Uh, we'll go under the freeway. Cause they're gonna set the ladder up right there. Um, we got nothing showing. Copy that, 455's uh, code 6 on 11th at a possible structure.
I mean, I don't see any. I don't see any smoke. It's probably a kitchen fire. Oh shit, they are fire. That sounds, uh, sounds legit. Huh. Yeah, they got a fire in a unit. Oh, shit. All right, let's find a better. PR is now at the corner of the oh. Six 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 we're on the second floor, we have a fire unit, 201, being held in check by a sprinkler. Aww, okay, sprinkler's not it. Yeah, roger. Unit, one. Mission 13, once you go in and take a look, bro. Yeah, I don't think this is... Yeah, I don't think this is... So this is really cool. He's he's got the hydrant the line hooked to the hydrant. Look at that, and look, they're pulling the supply line. How cool is that? Very rarely do you see that. One of the coolest things that city does. Talk about getting water supply. That's how you get water supply right there. That is that is the how to. These guys are badass. Complete badass. So it's being held in check right now by the uh, by the sprinklers. Squad one. And yeah, look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That was cool to see. So you'll see that line start filling with water. See it? There it goes. All right, let's uh, let's get out and check it out. Um, it's not a huge deal. It's not very visual, obviously. Um, but if they have injuries or a rescue or anything like that, we want to be in a position to get it. So let's do it.
Copy that. And we're out. We got time. Well, typing feels weird. <laughs> oh, man. Not good. See, I slammed my finger in the door. And uh, it hurts like... He's not good, man. He's not good. Main and Slauson. Sorry, we'll get your dad to do the typing SFX. <laughs> I'm gonna be like hunting and pecking with my like middle finger on my right hand. Dude, I've never done that ever. It hurts so bad. Ah, uh, no, it's still numb. <laughs> Depressing. We'll get mic'd up when we get. Let me get there. Yeah. I remember when we first started this building, it was not here. That's right, it was a parking lot. It was a parking lot. <laughs> when I first started shooting this. Now it's a, you know, 40 story building. Yeah. And I think like five more have been erected since then. Yeah, the whole uh, downtown skyline has changed completely. Yeah, the US Bank building is no longer the tallest building. Um, now it's that that other building because of the spire. Yeah, isn't that kind of cheating though? It's cheating, 100%. I don't consider it the tallest building. God, that's gotten worse. That's gotten worse, but other spots have gotten better. Like Skid Row has gotten better, which is interesting. Do they go down there and clean it up or something? I think they made it, um, they were saying they were making it illegal to sleep on the street in LA. I don't know who's enforcing that, but... Information. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's definitely gotten a little bit cleaner down here. So. Ooh, terrorist threat suspect. All right. Interesting, and then 10 minutes ago, so we'll go 14. White tow truck, huh? So Green Central CC clear. That's interesting. Why would, a, uh, why would a tow truck take off? Those guys see... A lot of, I mean, they see a lot of the same things that we see, at least on the, the car crash side. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised they took off. I wonder if they knew they even, they even hit the person, because those things are really heavy. They have uh, extra weight in the front to counteract the weight of the car that they're towing. So he might not have noticed that he hit somebody, maybe. Which is unfortunate regardless, but that's really rare for a tow truck to take off. <sighs> so, we're gonna go right here. Wait, have we been on this corner before? Oh, I'm sure. Holy crap, I think we have. Yeah, there's other streamers here. Oh, it's getting an interview with a motorcycle. Driver, Hill and College. Mm -hmm. Incident, in rubbish fire intersection of oh. 17th Street crossing AOB. Mile 
The car? No, the pedestrian. Oh, I, he's under the sheet. Oh, I don't know. I have no clue. He's under a sheet. Thank you. Yep. <sighs> Pretty rare for a tow truck, huh? Usually sometimes it's like the guys, like they even said it over here. They might not have known. Well, no, it's, it's the... It's the tow trucks that go from crash to crash. The the bandit tow mm -hmm. oh, Yeah. We've had three accidents in the last probably 20 minutes all around this south central area. Really? So I don't know if they were trying to respond over there. Or Maybe. But even then, they see they see the same stuff. You'd think they would stop. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of, that's weird. Think, right? You'd think. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so too. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Well, even then, it's still you don't you don't leave somebody in the street. You know what I mean? Like they see the same shit. The sixty, go to sixty-five and feet and have a look at the tow trucks, the front of the tow trucks. Oh. You'll find it in two seconds. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Poor guy. We've got the uh, his shoe made it all the way over here, so. Obviously, he was hit very, like at a seriously high rate of speed. So as of right now, we have a uh, pedestrian that was struck and killed by a by a possible uh, white tow truck is what we're uh, is what we're hearing. So we'll see. Uh, that's the initial that's the initial crime broadcast. So I'm sure we'll find out more later, but that's what we got right now. All right, let's see if I can type with one finger. Jeez. So, um, yeah, like, like I said outside, we've got a pedestrian down, uh, like I said, on the northbound side of Broadway, and they are pronounced at scene. The, uh, yeah, the shoe was really, the second shoe was really far away from the body, so that always kind of gives you an indication of uh, how fast the vehicle is traveling. It's just, uh, like I said before, it's just weird that a tow truck wouldn't stop because 
like I was uh, getting at, they they see this kind of thing all the time. And you would think that they understand that people do not get away with this kind of crap. There's always cameras, there's always something, and if he had stopped, I mean, the pedestrian's in the roadway, right? The pedestrian is actually in the street. Like, they were not in a crosswalk, there's no, doesn't look like there's an intersection there. So if they had stopped, then chances are they'd be able to go home tonight. But the fact that they took off, it now makes it a, a very serious crime. So, a lot of people don't know that. Well, they do know it and they just don't, they're not thinking about it in the moment. I don't know. Thank you.